What's good, family? Welcome to the Love You to Life podcast with Rod and CC, where we like to talk about all kinds of things. Sometimes we're going to agree, and other times we're going to disagree. But most importantly, it's going to be done with love. Hit the button. Oh, it's on. I hope I, I hope I got you trying to direct. <laughs> hit the button. Why don't you hit the button? Oh, my God. Okay. And you're hitting everything else. I'm hitting everything up in here. Uh-huh. How you doing today? I am doing today. I am. How am I doing today? Yeah. Um, I had a very colorful week. Mm-hmm. I had, um, I'm so used to being the one that, you know, sparks a person's day and brings a person's you know, lamp to them and, you know, say, here, you know, turn the light switch on. But I had a, a woman that was like a, a complete reflection of me and it was scary because I felt like I I felt like my, my like almost like my clothes was snatched um, because <laughs> wait, 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 wait. of where, how where, much. Where, 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 where were you at? I was at Landmark. Okay. So and somebody I had, snatched her clothes. That she didn't snatch my clothes, but the love radiating from her, I felt so um, exposed. Right. And it was just so. I was I was completely gotten, mm. <laughs> and it, it was just it was I, it caught me off guard. Like uh, vulnerable, like crazy yes. vulnerable. Well, vulnerable is okay for me. I live there, but like. This was like another level of it. Like yeah. I was blushing, and I I notice now that when I'm blushing, it's like I feel the person's heart. Mm. So I, just, I mean, I like, felt, was it was it just? Like, she was just telling me all the great things about me that she mm. saw, and I was right. just like, like past, present, future, or all was, of it. Right, just right. and it was just like she was telling me, I love that you love chocolate. Like mm. I had chocolate. She, I love that you love chocolate. Mm-hmm. I hear you go, Lord. Go ahead, I'm listening. <laughs> She's like, I love that you make all the. We were, um, we were keying. We were on the computer. Mm-hmm. And we were keying things in, and he, y'all should see him. He's <laughs> over here, glittering, eyes glowing. Are you, are you always you grin, always, you always, just you always, ear to ear. I'm just listening to you because this is important <laughs> stuff. This is ground is, breaking stuff. Um, don't let me distract you. But says the distraction. Mm-hmm. Um. It was just like she everything just vividly. She was just expressing who she was for me, mm-hmm. and it was just like even the word "vivid" goes back to the word "vivir," mm-hmm. and the word "vivir" means to live. Okay. And she was just alive. I love humans. Mm-hmm. I love humanity. It's just. I was gotten by her her love, and it was just like a it was like a big sis, mom, best friend, mm. all in one human, and it was very amazing. So that's that's the type of uh, night, and uh, you know, obviously you get a, a few things, a few things kicked in the you know in the knees, but oh, well, this I, stuff I brings want, brings the the beauty back. Uh, I um. I mean that sounds all profound, and I mean I I, yeah. I went to the the, the gym today. The g- okay, yeah. how was that? How, how it was, was the gym? Today was a today was one of them grinding work, workouts because I'm nowhere near where I need to be. Okay. Um, and where you uh, need to be? Yeah, well you know that phrase, use it or lose it. And I haven't been working out so much, so when I go to the gym now, it's just like no oh, journey? no strength, no. But look, here's the thing though, next. Monday, I'm okay. um, starting CrossFit again. So, God bless you. That's why I'm like, I know that I'm struggling when I, when I say I'm not Is that where. With our boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot. That's why I said I'm not where I need to be because Shout I. Shout out to Channing out here. Because you know, <laughs> you know what's gonna happen to me when I get in yeah, that gym for, Monday. For you, that's yeah, saying. and I so. I see what he do to people. That, so that's why I'm like okay. I'm nowhere near where I need to be. It's not okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, but I am excited. Shout out about to you, Chitty. I am excited about it. He, you know, he's one of the people that can push you. Yeah. 
He's mm-hmm. an amazing person, yeah. father, like just everything, he, everything. And so he, I know he, could, I know he's gonna push me. Like I'm gonna be cursing him and all kinds. He's gonna of, just he completely ignore you. No, he loves that. I don't anyway. think he hears that. He actually he he thrives off of that. So. He's a robot. So yeah. yeah, I don't think he's gonna hear you. He he will. He actually likes that. He was gonna he was gonna get these shirts that said F Channing on them and oh. all this stuff. So he likes that. He. Uh-huh. He wants you to leave his class like that. He don't want you. Mad. If, you, if you got energy, he don't feel like you. He did anything. If you, if at the end of the at the end of the the workout you're not laying down panting, you know, holding on to your chest, I don't think he feel like he did. He did enough for you. So if you breathe, that's like not good. All right. You should be short of breath. You should be mad at him. You should be questioning. Crying or no? Crying. Crying. And you should be questioning whether you're gonna come back again. Like. I've seen what he he uh, does to people, and it's not um, something that I'm open for uh, yeah. learning more about right now. <laughs> but Channing, shout out to you! Now You're he the de- best at what you do. He definitely, <laughs> he definitely, um, he's good for the kids, and he he works at another CrossFit gym. Yeah, and he works at the school. Yeah, so um, he's you know. And he'll work out in the morning and come in and join the workout at night. And he does something like meal prep, something like that too. Well, well, listen, he's keeps keto, so everything. Mister. Yeah, he keto. he more he more keto than me. Like he, he <laughs> and that's what it, when we talk to him, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely pick his brain, you know, for about that. Um, the other thing too, um, this is like a little side note. Did you know that? Axe throwing is his, a thing. His eyes are glittering. You know the axe throwing is a at, thing. At people or <laughs> no, like at trees like or there's people? like this place in um, Wallingford. Okay. I was listening to the news. I saw it. It's called the Blue Ox. And Blue Ox axe or something like that. They okay. throw. They teach you how to throw. Throw. Axe. They axes. have like a target, and you like with two hands you fling. What's the, it. What's the target? Like a whatever, like a board that it sticks in. But I mean, I imagine if you want to imagine. <laughs> I don't want to imagine nothing. If you want to imagine like, a, or if you have your own little setup, you can put, you know, because Facebook allows you to get. Here we go. Pictures Lord. and you can, Lord. you can blow it up and Cover put, this man. you can put up whoever you want to put up and throw your ax at them. But I didn't know that ax throwing was a thing. Um, I, I saw, I'm actually friends with somebody on Facebook and I, I, um, He threw an axe at you? No, the one she, uh, um, Emily. Okay. Saw her throwing axes, and I was just like, looks dangerous, yeah. but you know, if you can get in where you fit in. Um, no, there's a whole, like, I'm down a for thing. archery, so if you ever do that, I'm down. There's a thing, that. like a whole thing where you can, axes. you can learn how to do it, and you can just technique and everything, and you can go there and take lessons. Just throwing axes. Mm hmm. Okay. I saw that. I saw that on the news. If you're ever having a bad day, you yeah, yeah. want to stay legal and out of prison, I would recommend axe throwing <laughs> <laughs> or um, keto, eating bacon, not mm-hmm. sure. Or you could just, if you're having a bad day and you want to do something to somebody, you could just forgive them. Or you can forgive them. Speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> that's what we're going to talk about today. Forgiveness. Mm. And. Um, definition? Yeah, I'm going to give a definition. There's two. Mm-hmm. Do you want like. I want. The Webster's or do you want like. Okay, so I'm going to give you the you Webster. the ghetto version? No, nah, I'm not going to do that. The Webster. I want. Because forgiveness is strong. All right. So I'm going to give you two. One is uh, just a basic. And okay. it's the action of. The action or process of forgiving or being forgiven action or the process of forgiving someone or being forgiven yes all right and then psychologist has um a definition psychologist definition is conscious deliberate decision to release feelings or resentment or vengeance towards a person or Mm. a group who has harmed you um but it does not mean forgetting that is so good. So. That is so good. Well, that's what we're working with today. Yeah. Um, so we have 
a quote here that goes with the episode, and that is by the lovely Mother Teresa, who is a humanitarian and just an all-around dope human being. Is she a saint or no? I know she was up for sainthood, but she, I don't know if she, she got it. I don't out. know if she's a saint, but she's definitely a beautiful human. <laughs> um, and the quote is, if we really want to love, we must learn how to forgive. And I think that is so Okay, okay. Powerful. All right, all right, all right. Um the other thing I did too, uh, I posed the question on uh, my Facebook page about forgiveness and, and we'll and we'll incorporate some of the responses and I'll give you some of the responses and let you you know, we you know, we okay. can toil them around a little bit. But let's go. Um so we you know, we all done things that cause pain or hurt somebody, different levels of it, simple hurting the feelings, or, you know, just basically sometimes it's deliberate when we, you know, we go at somebody and it's like, you know what, I'm gone. Mm-hmm. You know, drop this hammer. She took yeah, she my did. hairbrush. Well, no, not hairbrush. When I was two, and I'm never going to let it go. Well, some people don't. <laughs> But the forgiveness is different as a kid. Like, it was more like sorry. You say sorry. Yeah. And you were taught that, you know. Kids forget. He, yeah. And it, it's, it's it's more unconditional as a kid, yeah. too, right? You you had something happen and you apologize. And even if you fought, you fought and mm-hmm. you guys apologize I and love made the way up. children think. Mm-hmm. They haven't been jaded yet. So nah. they look at it like, um, that's my friend. Yeah. I'm mad at him. Yeah, I'm not mad at him more. Yeah. I'm not mad anymore. Or yeah, same exactly. thing. Same thing with you know they get mad at their parents. You know, but all you <laughs> got to all you got to do is a little ice cream or something like that. So um, you know we learn yeah. we, we learn how to like you know we my, learn about that early. My daughter <laughs> wrote me a mean little note. <laughs> <laughs> she put an angry face because I I guess I hurt her hair. My daughter's hair is really long, mm-hmm. and I um I was. I just finished it this morning, actually, but I I was brushing through her hair and I was braiding, but she doesn't like when I grab to go put the rubber bands in at the top. Mm. And she started crying. And I'm like, well, sometimes mommy doesn't mean to hurt you, but she hurts you. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, And she was just like, she wrote an angry face. She put M-O-M by it and gave it to me. (laughs) And I was like, my the one I'm talking about her name Zaria for the ones that don't know my my daughter daughters, but my daughter and I asked her this morning. I said, "Baby, are you still mad, at mommy?" She said, "No, mommy, I love you." Mm-hmm. And just let her go. Couldn't that, it would it would it be nice and if that was the way things were right? It um, just, it, it, just... ca- it can it can be like that. It takes it takes discipline and it takes for me, a woman of faith, a whole lot of Jesus. Mm. But it is possible because seeing the bigger picture is more important than holding onto something. Well, how did how did like how would you suggest like the average person see the bigger picture when when they've been wronged in those situations? Like, for instance, like as a, as a teenager, okay, it was different for me because I ran the streets. So, you know, forgiveness was not something that was you didn't even talk about that. Mm-hmm. I don't think I don't I can't I can't I don't remember a time where okay. something happened where we like either we got to if we got together about some issue that somebody did something it never was about the word forgiveness wasn't mm. you know a part of it it was forgiveness came with if I got a little get back you know what I'm saying if I got a little vengeance then I think I, I think and I let off that sting then it was like okay I'm over it now cuz right. I got I got the you know, I got my head up. I got to fight or whatever. So, um, but that was, I think that was more about my maturity. So, mm-hmm. like somebody that's not mature enough to, to or, or different stages of life, mm-hmm. depending on what the, what the thing is, like, you know, for, for somebody like that, like how would, how do you, how do you reach somebody like that, that. Reach them like that. S- somebody. How do you reach somebody that? As, a, well, as, as far as, as bigger picture. A teenager, yeah, like when you say picture? when you say the bigger picture. How do you get somebody whose scope is not? 
I ain't, they hurt me and I ain't doing it. Yeah. Um, how, how and you, I'm speaking to a teenager. Yeah. Like, how would you? Am I talking to a girl or am I talking to a boy? Um, I mean, the, you're talking to a girl and a boy that uh, has a has a grudge against there. another couple. How about that? Is that too okay. much? Um, no. Um, if I would give advice to a teenager, I would one. I believe um, in the power of affirmations. Mm-hmm. Um, I would tell this teenage girl or boy how amazing they are. And it has to be authentic, right? Because mm-hmm. we could smell when it's not. So I would tell them all the things that I love about them. And I'm guessing that I'm, I'm intimate with this person, right? They know me, right? Yeah, somebody that somebody that you're able to reach. Okay, I'm, you know, yeah, I'm it, able to, they it, listen to me. Is what it's a little, yeah, it's a little harder to reach, you know. Some um, Sometimes you can, but it's a little harder to reach somebody that doesn't know you. So, well. I mean, where I'm at in my mind right now, I talk to, okay, the person up the street <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and pour out. But, okay. Um, to, a tree. To, and, okay. To, um, <laughs> a flower. Okay. You talk a, to a about. pink one. Yeah, you know, I know. I see you. Saw the Lord. I'm not. I'm saying. We came in here. I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not just saying stuff. I see you talking to flowers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. How I would. I feel like it's because imp- I feel like things of and and I only talking about myself. Um, the past weekend, I also learned of the importance of really. Um, knowing yourself and as a teenager I cannot say that I did mm-hmm. um, I would go back to times where I was a teenager and I would tell them about the times that I struggled with things or a time where I was jealous about a person or a situation and I would just tell them how much I didn't know all all that I had like all my gifts you know what mm-hmm. I mean um, I feel like that's where that type of stuff comes from like the idea of holding a grudge or not wanting to forgive is because there's something there that we don't see. Mm -hmm. So there's something there like, I don't know, I'm not going to forgive them because they, let's make it hurt. They called my mama fat and ugly and whatever else that teenagers do. Um, And they might not know that my mom has um, high blood pressure, has um, depression, has, you know, raised us. Um, my, my dad was, my dad was he, was, he was in the picture, but he was gone a lot. But he, he drove tractors. Mm-hmm. My father drove tra- tractor trailers. And I would just, I would just pour that in there. Because I feel like people, they feel alone. Um, and if I were to try to talk to a teenager and get them to, forgive whoever has wronged them i would pour all of that like share my life a little bit Mm -hmm. but i will also show them all the things that i see about them like i would i would really highlight all the beauty in them because i find like that is very important because that type of thing when you can't see how good you are you can't see the future either Mm -hmm. and if you can't see the future then you'll stay stuck in one spot and i feel like when we're seeing the future as whatever we see it as, it's just like, yeah, that person stole my job. That person stole my uh, boyfriend. That person stole the car that I wanted. That person lied to me. Whatever, really got to dig, but like whatever it is, when you really show a person who they are, like, look at this gift, like, you know, did you really you forgot about that or or do you remember the time that you spoke to xyz that time you really helped somebody you know what i mean like so what if this person might be going through something you don't know what they're going through let it go because if you're if you're gonna hold on to it you're not hurting them right because they're gonna forget about what you're talking about right now anyway so you could be mad at them but they're not even gonna be affected by this in a year or so Mm -hmm. it's just gonna hurt you and that's when it goes into like diseases. Diseases. I, I, I was gonna say. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say. I didn't finish reading the study, but it was. It was. Uh, I think it might have been. Um, it was a medical website that I was looking at, but it, you know, holding stuff like that in, like physical. 
Oh yeah, it turns to physical. It, it, it manifests and it it hires your rate of like heart disease and stuff yes. like that. Yeah, definitely. And so, I know it's important, but you know, that's for, what I would say to the teenager. For the young fit <laughs> teenager who, you know, I could, can't tell them nothing. Could run, <laughs> could run. You know, three, four, or five miles without you know, you know, losing breath and right. could jump as high and mm. you know don't have an ache. Or a pain, yeah. you know, to get them to look at like, you know, and, and but that's what you're talking about is an ongoing thing. So you, that's not even one conversation. That's you I mean, actively, pretty much, speaking life into that person. And that because that I feel like that's where it is. Mm-hmm. Like if you don't speak life into a person, they will hold that little mm-hmm. grudge off of whoever. You know what yeah. I mean? Something that probably don't even matter. You know what I mean? Um, and that's that's a lot of the things that. Like I'm seeing is that a lot of the stuff that we get angry about is things that don't even matter. Um, like thinking of the long run. Yeah. So the teenager might turn into a woman that I'm just gonna say she's a girl. Mm. Teenager is a girl. <laughs> um, she might turn into the CEO of whatever, mm-hmm. but she won't be able to effectively rule over whatever she's about to do or, or dominate or whatever word you wanna use. She won't effectively be able to do it because that's baggage, mm-hmm. and it, it 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 started as a teen, but it can go into an adult. Yep. It's carried everywhere, and it's the things that we can't see that's like ruling our lives. Yeah. When I when I look back at stuff, when I look back, there, you know, pivotal, you know, instances where, well, I got I, I, there was a lot of there was a lot of people that afforded me forgiveness over mm-hmm. the years. I. You know, I went through a, sp- a spell where, um, and I really wasn't going to school. Okay. I was running the streets and stuff like that. And it was every time, you know, people was always like, you know, you know, always trying to, you know, steer me in the right direction. Mm-hmm. You know, always, I'll, I can't, there was times where I, when, when I stayed to myself, I maybe wondered where I was going to get my next meal, mm-hmm. but in all actuality, I always had a place to eat. Listen somebody, to somebody always um, extended. You know, I always had a place to go. Always had a place to sleep. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, do for you, the most do part. Do you see that as coincidence or? Well, no, I don't think I don't think it's coincidence. I think you know, I don't know how things are now, mm. but I know that community was important when I was growing up, and everybody knew everybody. So, you know, it wouldn't be. You know, if I knew your kids and I saw them hungry, I would feed your kids. But mm-hmm. if I don't know who your kids are and I just see some kids running somewhere and it, maybe it doesn't look right, mm-hmm. right now I would be hesitant to approach them because now with people taking kids and stuff, you don't want to <laughs> go up to, you see three little kids on a bike or you yeah. see three a kid walking, mm-hmm. maybe looking like he's hungry. Do you but even mm-hmm. Do you even pull over? And it could be... You know, say I didn't know what your kids look like, and it right. could be one of your kids. Right. Do you check on them? Nah, you you not you not really you not really gonna check on them because the times. But back then, it was you know people knew community. Yeah, people knew who I was, and they knew that they they saw better things for me than I did. Yeah. Uh, so they were able to say, Nah, you know what? I know you did this and you did that, but you know, come on, and get sunny, or come on, and yeah. you know. Not saying the words I forgive you, but when I look back at it, it took forgiveness for that to, to actually happen. Yes, yeah. they were um, saying I. Some people cannot, for like they can't say the words, right. but that's the actions that they are yeah, doing you, is it is yeah. Forgiveness. You can see that you can see um like somebody going the extra mile when they don't have to. Like I'm not I'm not, some of them are relatives. I'm talking about people that didn't have a. Whether I made it or not, it wasn't going to affect their life. A, a, a neighbor. Yeah, it wasn't going to affect their life. Whether I made it or not, they still they had their thing going. They had their yeah. this and that, and what I was doing wasn't going to affect them. Yeah. Uh, at love. least, at least that's what the way I I thought of it. But obviously, they thought enough to say, "All right, mm. you know, this dude out here doing all this stuff, but yeah. you know, he needs somebody to encourage him." And yeah. and I always got encouraged from my mom, stuff like that. But yeah. you know, something different when it's somebody. Yeah, you, when 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 moms do it, you expect it. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When it comes from mom, it's like, okay, that's mom. And she just worried about me. And, I definitely but, took my mom for granted. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, but, you know, when it's somebody that is not a family member, then yeah. then you, even then when I didn't understand what it was, because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, and to this day, I'm still a natural skeptic. So you can't just... You can't, I didn't know that. Hmm. <laughs> you can't just tell me know. something. You can't just tell me something and I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds... <laughs> you know what? I got to... Mm, I got to check on that. I got to read up on it. Double check and triple Mm -hmm. check. I got to read up (laughs) on it. I got to, you know what I'm saying, do a little research. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I've always been a skeptic. So when Mm. when you're in that forgiveness as a kid, it's Mm. like, what is this? Ah, mm, I don't know. This dude is weird. Or this woman, what what is she, you know, what is she up to? But when I look back, Mm. I can see so many instances. Hindsight. Yeah. And Mm. I can, and I can think of my biggest like moment of forgiveness that I afforded somebody Mm -hmm. was with my father. I don't, I didn't have a really good relationship with my father after, after I was like nine or 10 for, Mm -hmm. for some time. Um, I would say, you know, I, obviously we had a relationship, but it wasn't good. Okay. Um, and he, he didn't really have much to do with my teenage years at all, really. Um, but, when he when I was about twenty one or twenty two, he called me out of the blue. Okay. The last person I expected to hear on the phone. So I was in a him. I was in another city, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even really thinking about him, but um when he called me and a matter of fact, let me add that I was always angry with him too. I was always angry if you mentioned him There is power in right. saying that. So if if, if you mention him, yeah. you know, I didn't have anything to, uh, yeah. you know. Right. You can imagine Brush what I said. Off. No, no, I had some words. You can imagine what I said. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I know your walk, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my words. But um, I, I, I'm human. Yeah. No, I know, but you but know. I thank you for that though. But, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, well, I just was, and when he called me, um, little did I know, at 21, 22 years old, mm-hmm. with a kid of my own, I wanted my daddy. And when he called me out of the blue and was, um, he apologized for not being there wow. and gave my mother all the credit for, you know, raising the kids. And wow. he's like, you all are good kids and you all are doing good things. And I had nothing, these are his words, I had nothing to do with it. And I'm just sitting here thinking about the fact that I want to apologize. I want to give your mother all the credit. She did a great job. I forgave him instantly. You talking about but he he was halfway through and I already knew like this is what I wanted. Yeah. This is what I've been like I but I hadn't thought to that point this is what I wanted. When I got to that point when it just it was automatic. I didn't even have to think. Yeah. And I was just excited to be cuz at this point I'm a man and now I can have it. Now I lost Love is I, still love. I lost throwing the football. I lost coming to my football games coming to basketball. I lost those things that okay. had me in my feelings. Like, oh, man, he don't even care. Because he wouldn't, if he cared, he would, if he, you know, so I lost those things. But that day when he called me, um, I gained, like, like I said, my oh, daddy. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was like, and I, who the hell knew that that was something that was, like, blocking me mm. from, like, so much. And it freed me. And I didn't even have to, like I said, I didn't even have to think about it. I was just like, boom. Oh, yeah. What, you know, we talking and, you know, I told him I forgive him. And, um, you know, and he was just like, you know, is there anything? He asked me if there's anything he could do. What do, what, what, do I need anything? Is there anything he could do for wow. me? What? And I said, you know what? The, the only thing I need from you is one day, you know, me and you just go have a beer. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Because at that point, I didn't necessarily need anything um, anything from him, but, right. you know, just to sit down and talk to him. And the fact that he was calling me, apologizing, and saying the things that he was answering. I didn't have to ask any questions. He answered all my questions wow. with his statement. Um, the fact that I didn't have to ask a question, I just was able to just, mm, I, you, you know, just before listen. before I could even, like, I'm like, mm-hmm. before I could even answer any ask any questions he was just answering everything you were you were in it you were like you were 
immersed in it, you were you were you forgot it. Yeah, I for, I forgave him when I tell you I forgave that's him immediately. Instant. It that that's instant. really transformation. It's really it, it's it's turning on a light switch, mm-hmm. like and and not allowing ourselves that it is is depriving us of so much. Like there's so much beauty in forgiveness and. It opens up a whole new door. Yeah, I to think yeah, whatever that, that's going to turn into, you know yeah. what I mean? Like even and there's, it never stops. It always keeps growing. Yeah. And I, it didn't, and it didn't, it didn't, you know, it didn't solve all my problems. No. But it, but it released one, rele- by, one it re- by one though. But it released something in me that you know then, was there. You didn't know it was there. right. And then I think that helped me, like in my life as far as forgiving people, because like. Yeah. You know, after that, if I could forgive him, him, and that's the that's the ultimate hurt when it comes from somebody that is supposed to be your protector. Yeah. And so when I once I uh, once I forgave him, like I said, it was instant. That mm-hmm. was that was really a, that was a turning point for me. Weight off my shoulders. Yeah. Like I started to look at things a little different. There's yeah. there's there's watershed moments in my life where, you know, I looked at things different. But as far as forgiveness, that was one of those things that when you say watershed. What do you mean? I mean, those there are things that just that happened in my life that changed the course of my my thinking. Okay. Um, but in different areas, but as far as in the forgiveness area, this was like the big thing because I didn't think I was capable of forgiving him. But when I in actuality, I just was waiting for him to reach out to me. Yeah. You know, in a way that, you know. As a grown man, you know, look, you say I'm, I'm, the, I'm the same size. So, you know, so when you look at me, you, you wouldn't think I'd be walking around looking for forgiveness mm-hmm. from my daddy. You know, what I'm saying my dad. That's a, and, and, and that was like a, a, that, that changed a lot for me, and it made it easier for me to forgive. Because, like I said, if I could forgive him, yeah. then big time. So, I, I know I'm, that I, I, I'm getting a little low. I'm gonna try to bring it up a little no, bit and bring up some comments. No, this is. Because it, it really, do, it shows up everywhere. Some yeah. people, they believe that it, it's just in forgiveness. They, oh, it's just, I ain't got to forgive nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't got to, mm-hmm. nothing. But yeah. it it shows up in our finances. It shows up in our relationships. It shows up in um, when we go out with our friends. You know what I mean? Like, it'll show up it, it, everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, the 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 cashier might not give you the right change. Like you might hold a whole grudge right there. So well, you know, it, it you, does. When you, when you, when you leave, you go and tell you, you get, you, you, you know believe? what they said? You, you know could what? You? Don't go to Duchess on whatever street because yo, shorty at the desk, first of all, her breath stink and she had a bad hair weave. Like, mm-hmm. but she also mm-hmm. wasn't, she don't know how to count. So if you go there and then we flood that. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and I don't know. I make I completely make that up, but <laughs> <laughs> but it shows up everywhere because it's it's it literally is an invisible bag with rocks, and we're carrying it, mm-hmm. and we're like, well, why can't I get this job? Well, I I wanted to just go out with my friends, but I. Oh, he looked at me and he blinked three times. So I, mm, I'm gonna stay home today. <laughs> like, and, and we think it, forgiveness has nothing to do with it. It yeah. does. So no, you're not bringing nothing low. Yeah. This is the topic of it, and it's strong. I told my father even at 32, like, bruh, I need to hear your voice. <laughs> he doesn't obviously, yeah. whatever reason he doesn't, um, he doesn't fully believe that, and that's okay. Um, but I told him. Like, even at 32, a woman with her own kids and husband, I need to hear your voice. Mm -hmm. And I don't need to hear you every day. Just once a week, give me that. And don't send me no text message. I hate texting. Mm -hmm. I need to hear your voice. Even as a mother with kids, that's important. So it can start as a teenager, but it can go into parenting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It it shows up like that, that. not forgiving, like it shows up everywhere, and I forgave him. All right, so I'll keep me, on forgiving him. Let me let me uh, <laughs> get to the comments, guys. Yeah, ahead. yeah, a little. Uh, <laughs> so I I, po- I posed a question on my Facebook, 
And um, what was the question? My question was, is it harder to forgive others or forgive yourself? Mm -hmm. And why, if you don't mind? And um, I had a decent response. So, yeah. um, well, what do you answer that? Uh, I, I say myself. It's, it's harder for me to forgive myself because, you know, I, regardless of what we put out in the front, mm -hmm. when you when you're alone, that's when you really take. Yeah, look in the mirror. That's when you really take stock of like the mess ups and the things you could have done different. And um, so, in that sense, when it when it comes, it comes back up. Yeah, I'm like, oh, man, I beat myself up. We harder on me, me, me personally. I'm harder on myself than anybody could ever be on. So if you know me and I've done something to you, I guarantee you, whatever you think of me, I'm 10 times harder on myself. This is mm. just the way I am, because mm. I think about it. I still think about things that I did to people years and years ago, and I wonder why, and I try to, I'm still trying to figure out, and I'm like, man, if I could, you know, and I've even, like, um, a couple of years back, like, I reached out to people through Facebook. Like, I was going to say, and message, so like I'm out. No, I did. I messaged, like, you know, and Be and 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 I wasn't sure what kind of response I was like, did, you know, and, and, but I actually got like people remembered <laughs> the nonsense I did and was mm -hmm. like, yeah, I was wondering why. I didn't think people would hold that, but people do. You you may not think so, but people do, do remember it. things that you did to them even in your teenage years, and they wonder, mm. you know, why? and that stuff. Yeah, and that stuff stays with them. But mm -hmm. um, all they right, make so it mean whatever they make it mean. I'm gonna read this response from Amy Cabrera. Which she said, it's harder for me to forgive myself because I knew better. Mm. My mind beats me down knowing I could have done better. That's so good. Mm. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how I feel about it. Yeah. Uh, or in the time, you might not know. Um, may, maybe in the time, you might not know better. Mm -hmm. But like after you did it, like, why did I do that? Right. Why did I say that? Right. Well, I knew I shouldn't have said that. And, and like the first four... Well, so let me. Let's um, get so, to the next one. Yep, then. Tim, Tim Legs. That's 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 my cousin, Tim. Hi, Timmy. Um, she said, "Myself, we are our own worst critics, and oftentimes it's easier to give advice to others than to listen to yourself." Mm. Listening. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Two hands up. You can tell. Her, look what you. Two look. hands. Up. Candace, what you need to do is look if I was you, I would if I was you I would and boo -boo. what you need to and and yeah. <laughs> and then I go around the corner and when nobody looking go do it. Yeah, do the same thing. I'm definitely <laughs> working on my integrity. That is very powerful and life changing. Yep, yep. All right. Leah Duncan said myself definitely. Yeah. Uh Chelsea Grinrod, myself. Carmen Guccione McLeod, myself, can't get away from me and my own thoughts. Mm. Others, I could forgive and walk away. Do you believe that? Well, that's what she believes. Yeah. You know forgiving, they, forgiving yourself and being able to. She can't, she can't, can't forgive. forgive. She can't get away from her own self. But the other people, she can forgive them and separate herself from her. But herself, she's always going to be. Basically, she's going to be alone with her thoughts. Yeah, that's the scariest mm -hmm. place. No. Mm -hmm. uh, Nichelle, myself, you can't control someone else's actions and what they do. But mm -mm. when it is you, then you become harder. Feeling, what if you had done something different? Wow. Ivana Hunter. That's so good. Myself, you beat yourself up constantly about the choice you made or didn't make. You be, I, I, I definitely beat myself up. Then it's me. Oh, that's me. No, no, I didn't say anything. I just was thanking them for. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sue Gent said, "Others, we justify what we did because we know our own hearts and mm. can attribute our behavior to something that happened in our lives, or say we didn't mean it the way they took it." So she finds it harder to forgive other, other because um, the stuff that she does, she feels like something in her life, she could justify, justify it. by by her life experience. I didn't mean to do that because I was having a bad day that day. Right. Or, or, or something happened in I my was life. I on the rent. Something, something happened in my life that made me not like when people do certain things. Yeah. Uh, 
And Eileen Gordon said, it all depends on what's being forgiven. But to give you an answer, others. The failure will only yell, I told you so. Mm. And I'm not good with that. <laughs> huh. mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, huh? Depends, and and I agree. It depends on what's being what you what what yeah. you're talking about. Uh, I always I I I don't know I I. I mean, like I said, I'm my own worst. I mean, we all are, but like I feel like the same person that would hit my kid could be the same person that crashed my car. They're both, you know what I mean? Like you hit my baby or you hit my car, like. Maybe a better example. I don't know. No, I think that's a good example because nah, I mean a human being versus a. Well, that's why it depends <laughs> on what that depends on what you forgive. I mean, you hit you hit a kid. You the a car for me is so material. Like I'm so like I don't even care. Like when I only thing when I gotten in car accidents or stuff happened in my car, mm-hmm. the only thing that annoyed me was the inconvenience. The actual damage yeah. never really bothered me, but the kids, woo. Uh, yeah. You, met, you, See, you, but met, you mess with my kids. It's like I've forgiven people that have done, you know, wrong to my kids, and that's they they my little booskies. Like that's my that's me. But but it depends on what wrong you're talking about. If it's just somebody abuse, I'm, I'm talking, talking like I'm talking hitting about, my children. Yeah. See, yeah, you got the. I forgave that. You I got had the, the worst. You got I mean, the, I could have the closed fist, but you, I was just no, like, hold me. up. No, no, me. You got to get these hands. It, <laughs> well, I mean, when it's somebody's mama, you can't. All right. You know, well, we not. We, all right. Well, we, ain't, me, we, ain't, we ain't put names either. But next, next comment. The next comment. Have a good one. Lord, uh, forgive them. Jesus. Ed, forgive. Edward Crespo. We we all know Crespo. Hey. Uh, we all, well, it depends on the situation. For mm-hmm. the most part, I can forgive others as much as it hurts me because yeah. of my spiritual path. I'm about to get into your, the comments that you're going to really be uh, mm-hmm. digging. I found out that when you forget others, it allows you to continue your path Free. in a peaceful manner. Yes. I like that. It's the truth. Mm-hmm. It, it literally you can go to sleep with nothing on you like because mm-hmm. it's just like you let it go. Uh, Amy Reddick. You know Amy. Hey. Hey, Amy. With, her, with Amy, she said, it's neither. I've learned in walking in my Christ life, you have to... Learn to forgive yourself mm. in order to forgive others. It starts within you. I love and all you me. and all you heard was Christ. Mm. <laughs> it's because it's, I know I I'm mean, just I'm going with, with it because I know I'm just messing with you. I just no like because if I don't forgive myself, then I'm gonna be hurting the people around me. Mm-hmm. If I don't forgive the people that hurt me, somebody hit my car or stole a whatever hit my kid <laughs> you, you you still got some <laughs> um you still want to give some with my my brother's mom's uncle's dog you like, trying to remove yourself from it <laughs> I'm try- no i mean because or or you still want to give somebody them hands about your babies i can see I, that because you I, bought, I, I, i'm human i know okay I know. Yeah. so it's not it's not that we not we not human we're human mm-hmm. do i want to throat check them Absolutely. Do I know? And 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 I feel like and I and I heard this in a message, and that was good that Amy put that because it's. I feel like when the per and I and I and more than ever I get this now. When the person does it, that's when you forgive them, mm-hmm. and then when they ask for it, it won't be a thing. It'll just be like I already forgave you. Come here. Yeah. Let me hold you. That's Let me hug you. Let's go. When they do it, so you come still a hundred dollars from me, and I ain't had no food in my fridge, and mm-hmm. I ain't had no gas in my car, and and you took my last thing, and I asked you, did you take? You said no, and this didn't happen, but it just I'm making this up. He didn't take a hundred dollars from me, y'all. Okay, but if I if I hold on to that right there, you're supposed to say I forgive you. Mm-hmm. Now, do you tell the person no? When they come to you, that's when you say, I already forgave you. Mm. And then it's like a freeing thing. Because oh. if you wait until they, they, they come to you, then it's like this, it's like a weight on you. Mm. And it's then you got to work through that weight. Like, that's harder. All right. So I love that. 
forgiving myself and forgiving the person. Mm-hmm. Do we forget? No, but the, the grudge is not, it's toxic. It's literally like taking some gasoline and swallowing it and just hoping like, yo, I hope this hurt that person. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I hope yeah. That it hurts Cause, her because they may not even be. They may not be. They may not be long gone. It may not money be spent. On their, yeah, it may not be on their radar. Yeah, um, I like that one. Yeah, and uh, Amy, Carlos McGee. We know McGee. All right, Carlos. And my past has always been forgiving myself, but now it's neither. And then he just said, "Great topic." So he doesn't have trouble forgiving himself or people. Oh, he's holy. Well, Great. yeah, I was gonna say, but Carlos is a pastor, so I just I expect nothing less from. Somebody who's ordained to, Got it. to, to be in forgiveness. Yes. Um, uh, and then uh, Sheena Jefferson Skinner, which is another one of my cousins. Mm-hmm. All she his just, family. Yeah, she said, I think it's harder to forgive yourself. Yeah. Um, it, it definitely, um, for myself, I think that that is, if I had to choose, it is myself. Because mm-hmm. I know what I if I if I love myself what I should or should not tolerate right so if I allow it it's like me saying okay go ahead but at the same strength depending on the person it's like th- that's when <laughs> the 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 issue comes in mm-hmm. so it's like for me it is harder but if I hold on to that it is literally like taking gasoline and swallowing it and right. saying I hope that this is going to be better I hope that it's going to be better. I'm not letting this go, but I hope that this is going to be better. And that's the whole gasoline, just one gallon, just right there. Right. Slowly, like, hurting us. Uh, that's I, deep. I also, I also posted in my, uh, I'm in a different couple of uh, podcast groups. Mm-hmm. So I posted in one of the groups. Um, this uh, this particular one is Black Podcasters United. Okay. Um. I'm all about podcasts, man. I'm, I see. I'm, uh, listen. I'm, I'm eating, drinking, sleeping, listening to podcasts. it. Podcasts. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm listening to people <laughs> and, you know, um, I'm finding a, a lot of interesting stuff, but also a lot of good advice, stuff yeah, like that. That's good. Um, this person's name is Goody Garnett. It's more difficult to forgive yourself. We're always more harsh, most harsh with ourselves because once we acknowledge our wrongs, we must hold ourselves to the higher standard mm-hmm. of writing. So that's that integrity that accountability yeah. that um uh stephanie sunshine williams to forgive yourself we are our own worst critics so we beat ourselves up mm. better than anyone else however sometimes forgiving someone can be so damn hard mm. <laughs> yeah. uh, gerald w jones the second it depends on the person and their personality i have no problems forgiving myself other people it requires a show of effort on their end before I put my energy into it on my end. So, so they do this, and then I'll forgive them. <clears throat> I, I, no, is that what the, you mean? Say that again. Uh, I said it depends on the person and their personality. I have no problems forgiving myself. Other people, it requires a show of effort on their end before I put any energy into it on my end. So if you do something, he at least wants you to acknowledge that you did it before he decides if he's going to forgive you. Where you forgive first and mm-hmm. then you let them know later he's saying nah you gotta you still ain- i can't boy he is gangster you I still play that game he said he's saying you you stole my money you gotta come to me and say hey man i'm sorry i stole you and then he's gonna consider and then he'll think he, of it, but he then gonna, they gotta look like they yeah well like listen uh, you bad. know yeah, yeah you gangster all right and then uh andrew vanderton and i listened to this guy's podcast it's pretty good Awesome. Uh, forgiving others was hard for me because I felt like I was losing by letting go of the anger. Mm. Recently, I learned forgiving myself is a longer and harder process for me. I would confuse the anger I felt towards the individual I forgave with how I was judging myself for mm. what happened. Took it twice as long. Sense. Took twice as long for to forgive myself for how I felt and the damage it was causing in my life. So he's just like all the way into yeah. He all the way into like the in the in all the way inside of himself, like really evaluating and mm. um, saying, "Man, you know, got it." He it, did, he he got to forgive himself for the damage that he's doing to himself by not forgiving. Like he's going so deep. many different levels deep. Which you I know. mean, it because 
you really don't know and that's why like i i i get that i i got that because you really don't know like where it's at like maybe it could have been like a a i don't know a death mm -hmm. that happened a person killed somebody that they really loved right um and that might be something a little harder right to get over or or a breakup of whatever sort and that might be a little harder to get over um but so many illnesses come when we don't let go I, I, it shows up everywhere i tell you i went through a stage where because i was afforded so much forgiveness like mm -hmm. i went through like a good i want to say like a 15 to 20 year period where i forgave everybody for everything like i was just, i was just like you know, when we first met, yeah. I was on some old, hey, you know, just let people, you know, they, they might be going through something. You got to. You could take a brick and he would not even feel it, y'all. Yeah, and just... I was just like, nah, you got to, you know, and I did that for a long time. Yeah. But then I got to the point where that wore on me because I felt like in certain instances, I know, not felt, yeah. I know in certain instances, people, because of the way I was, decided that it would be okay mm -hmm. to push it a little further because they knew that my personality at that point was a forgiving personality. Mm. So they may have said like... It's no, still a forgiving personality. Yeah, I know. But I mean, I was ultra like, you know, now I'm I'm less apt to... I, I Like I was forgiven to the point where even if I disagreed mm -hmm. completely with them and I thought they was wrong, yeah. I was just like, hey... I'm not, even, you, I'm not even going to, there's no conflict, there's no nothing. Now it's, I'm in a different place because yeah. I see that that kind of got me, that took me backwards when I was just letting, and I started to feel like I was being taken advantage of. So people would assume like, oh, this, for instance, I was, oh, this, that's Candace, don't worry about it. She, she's all right, we can just do that. We can just do this, we can do that. Because Candace, is, she could take it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying anybody did that to you, I'm saying with me Plenty because you look at, again, what we doing, is looking at the surface. So you look at my stature, you look at my mm -hmm. size, you look at the dark skin, you look, so you go, he should be but able dang, to take it. the dark skin got to do with something with I'm it. I'm just saying, when you look at people, <laughs> you go, he could take it. For whatever reason. I'm uh -huh. not saying everybody. There's certain people that I'm with you. look at people and go, he could take it. He's just, he been through some things, so he could, you, he'd be all right. So, question for you. Do you think that, because I feel like that is not bad. Mm-hmm. Do you think the idea of you saying nothing about that was where it was just like, okay, this is what's not. I could forgive, but I didn't say anything. Yeah, I think that's where I started to feel like, so now I'm more like or less. Like you're forgiving, but yeah. I didn't say nothing about Yeah, I didn't it. say, I didn't tell him, I didn't tell the person that I had a problem with it. I would just say it's all right. Yeah, and and yeah. as opposed to saying, look, man, I got a problem with this, but we can move forward. Right. We can still be friends, but... I had a problem with that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I don't like that. Don't do that again. Mm -hmm. As opposed to just going, all right, man, don't worry about it. Man. Mm -hmm. man, don't worry about it. And I did, I did I that to any and everybody around me. Like, and yeah. the people tell you, like, re recently, because now what happened was I got to the point where that bothered me so much that I started to, to go to opposite and started to strike. Like, okay. And then now I'm like, F it. I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm going to say what I want to say. And then that caused me to be back in a position where I need to be starting to get more forgiveness because I'm starting to, I was starting to hurt people that got me, that hurt me as opposed to just forgiving and not, not, not forgetting, but forgiving. You don't have to forget. Right. But what I was doing was forgiving and then, um, I'm sorry, not forgiving and then living and living with that and me not forgiving and me having my heart closed mm. you know I, it, it allowed me to just go about my business and do whatever I wanted to and you and what you feel like be damned I didn't care and that was what everybody cried I didn't care what any when I say anybody I didn't care what anybody felt about what I was doing and how I was doing it but in the long run that may cause more problems for yeah. me way more problems um 
And so now I'm back in that. Now I'm back in that role where I need to be. I need people to afford me forgiveness. And but can I have a? So in my classes, they show us um, very vividly that if I and for the for the friends that are listening have never killed someone ever I mean maybe with my eyes so I do need Jesus but um, never physically I've never killed anyone not that I know of Uh, (laughs) (laughs) help me Lord Uh, I want to just unpack some nonsense but I'm not gonna because I don't I don't want to stay away from your point you know I'm saying I want to give this to you and, and whoever else because even with myself and I um even on my what people don't know on my um my Facebook and sometimes my Instagram, I talk to myself in the stories. Mm-hmm. Um and I realize when I talk to myself I talk to other people. And something that I come to really be straight with, because it takes a lot of us being sh- straight with ourselves and being mm-hmm. honest and even today I put something up about telling the truth about where we are. Right. Um and this is this is what we're doing. Um but y- hypothetically speaking, I killed someone yesterday. Um and I'm walking with Jesus so I I didn't, I didn't hear nobody. Right. But anyway, <laughs> um that's what I did. It's not who I am. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of us cannot forgive ourselves. And hence that that pouring out into not being able to forgive people because we make what we did who we are. And it's not they're different. They not they don't how they say we're they, they brag different or whatever. Right. They you know, the the the, the teens now they say we're different. We ain't the same or whatever. That's not the same. Like doing something and being something is two <coughs> different things. Um, and I felt like coming to peace with that and being straight up with that and standing in the mirror and saying, it's not what I am. That's not who I am. But then taking a, a even stronger whack at it is saying who I am. I am like let's say I you know uh, yeah I killed somebody but that's not who I am. Mm-hmm. I'm a mother. I'm a friend. Everyone loves me. I help people. I love people. I love uh, the community that I'm in. I love what I'm from. I love all of it. So yeah, I I killed someone but that's not who I am. It's what I did. Right. And that's taking the past and putting it back in the past and not bringing it to the future. We're taking stuff that, and, and the, the lack of forgiveness of ourselves, we take the things of the past and we carry it to the future. Mm-hmm. And then it plants a whole beach there. And that's where we go to and we make we take vacations to it and we visit it and we, we sit by it and we get familiar with it and we, we stay there. But what's in the past is done. You can't mm. change it, right? Mm. right. Um, so there's no just taking power back. Really, really, just says, yeah, that's what I did. I hit that car. I hit that man. I I smoked this. I drank that. I slept with this. I partied there. Whatever. Fill in the blank. Mm-hmm. But that's what I did. That's not who I am. I feel like, and I I put this up today, in order to know how to get like really good at something. So like I said earlier in the in the episode today, working on my integrity, being stronger in that, because without integrity, nothing works. Right. And we're out of integrity one place. We're gonna be out of it everywhere, because everywhere we are, that's where we're going. Um, but. It just it I feel like it it really takes like okay i I know what I want to get good at, but 
what am I really not good at? Like, I got to come to peace with that. I got to come to truth with that. I feel like that that moves it, like, and I even put, like, quantum leaps mm -hmm. into forgiving ourselves and other people. So if I ask you not to, I don't know, if you stole $20 from me and then I'm, I'm like, not forgiving you, have I ever stole $20? Right. I got to tell the truth about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, so... Yeah. That, the, that's, the that's, forgiving of myself starts with that. Yeah, that that's what led me to um, being so forgiven at a certain point because I had, like I said, I had been afforded a lot of forgiveness over the years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so I didn't know. I always, I would tell people like, yeah, man, you know, I, I gotta, we gotta, I gotta do this. This is, you know, because just honestly, I didn't expect to, you know, be alive. So, well, I'm happy that you are alive. The fact that... Don't do nothing crazy. Nah. Okay. Nah. <laughs> the, the fact that, you know, people along the way, there's reason, there's things, there's people that were there that kind of helped that along the way when I was at my worst, yeah. at some of my worst times, made me like, look, okay, so now I got to be there. And, mm -hmm. you know, we always joke... Pay it forward. Uh, we always joke about it's the gift and the curse when, you, mm -hmm. when you're approachable and mm -hmm. you're forgiving and mm -hmm. you're... Mm. Because everybody, <laughs> everybody's like, mm. <laughs> you know, everybody's coming through with their issues and their problems. Mm -hmm. And some days you just want to say, look, I got my own. <laughs> For real. Um. And, and <laughs> let me get a minute. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me get some, let me get some, let me, how about this? How about when I call you to complain about what I got going on? You don't flip it around and talk about you the whole yeah, time. Yeah, but they might. So it's just like, do I call that phone number? Yeah. Do I dial that number? I called you to complain. Next thing you know, I'm listening to an hour of your problems. Right. I said, man, so I didn't even, I didn't even get. That's why I you got to go to the beach. You just got to go to the beach. The beach can't talk. Uh, you can feel it, but it can't talk. Could I bring Jack with me? You could. No, Jack can't. He cannot come. Why not? It's a little, listen, a little plastic cup. No. A little Jack. No. No. Just and. You. And I'll be sure to forgive myself. <laughs> after. 